What is going on guys? This is Tyler Breck from T1 MMA. So as you can see, I got a new microphone. It's just one addition to what I'm trying to do with the studio. I love how the studio looks actually right now. For those of you that don't know, I'm trying to kind of recreate Ariel Hawani studio uh, for uh, the MMA fighting hour, whatever it's called, like MMA hour. I don't know why I couldn't remember it there, but I'm sorry I've been gone lately. Uh, I've been very busy with school, but this will be the first my one of the only videos I'll be posting in a while. I'm gonna have a post fight of the Ultimate Fighter, but then I'll be gone for a while, so I won't have a podcast for UFC 212. I'm very sorry, but as you can see, for this episode, I'm repping the Washington Warriors, uh, sh the Washington Warriors shirt here. After talking to the mic, by the way, if the microphone isn't working, I'm just gonna go with the sound on my iPhone. Uh, I'm just trying gonna try to figure it out, so it might just be a placeholder. It might just be decorative right now. I'm representing Washington Warriors right now for my T-shirt. And that's fitting because I'll be traveling up to Aberdeen, South Dakota. Uh, I'm from Sioux Falls, by the way, for those of, the, those of you that don't know. Uh, I'll be going up to Aberdeen. I've been selected to represent uh, my high school as a... Uh, what, what, I don't know how to explain this. It's something called Boy State. And you're, they pick the best uh, juniors in the, in the state to represent their schools uh, in order to just kind of simulate government. That's all it is. You know, the, the governor, governor of South Dakota, Dennis Dugard, will be there. Uh, senators uh, represent we only have one representative here in South Dakota so that's really cool but I'll be gone for a week for that so I'll miss the the fight week to UFC 212 but hopefully I will still be able to get back in time for that but pretty cool things going on in my life right now but um, yeah I'll be gone for a while so I, I apologize and anyway let's get started the uh, I've been I missed two episodes but team Dillashaw won both of those episodes and Cody, and Cody picked a fight between two teammates, actually, which I'm not sure if it was the best option that he had out there. But I'm not going to review last episode but because I'm going to review this next upcoming episode. The next fight is going to be Julian Lane versus Ramsey Ninja. Uh, Julian Lane is a member of Team Garbrandt. Ramsey Ninja is a member of Team Dillashaw. Team Dillashaw is looking at a sweep right now. They are improved their record to 5-0 and oh right, right now, which is unbelievable. Uh, they're looking at a sweep. I, I can't remember the last time that's ever happened in the Ultimate Fighter. I think Team Rashad back in Season 10 came the closest. But full sweep, I don't think it's ever happened actually before. <clears throat> Maybe like tough one or two when they only had four fighters per per weight class. I'm not sure actually. But Team Dillashaw is looking for a sweep right now. But uh, let's start with Julian Lane. He was a member of uh, the Ultimate Fighter Season 16. Les Lesnar, or... Uh, Team Carwin versus Team Nelson. Uh, he was obviously remembered for the "Let Me Bang" meltdown, which is uh, kind of an old joke. I was I was gonna do it, but it's been used too many times, so we're gonna let them bang bang it out there themselves. Ha! Knee slapper right there. Anyway, he won his eliminator fight versus Diego Bautista via round two unanimous decision, but he lost his opening round opening round against Bristol. Rende via round, the second round unanimous decision. Those of you who have been keeping up with me, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the two round decision. The winner of it, I can't I can't really explain it. The winner of two, if the the fighter wins two rounds, fight's over. If it's one to one, they go to a third round, sudden death round. I'm not a huge fan of that. <clears throat> Obviously, he's kind of a hothead, and uh, he's ins insanely uh, entertained. Er, how do I phrase this? He's uh, very entertaining, I should say. His height is five foot ten. He usually fights around 155 pounds. We'd have to fight at 170. Uh, he's uh, trains out of Rec Room Athletics. He's got 18 fights in his career with 11 victories and seven losses. Of his 11 victories, one was by knockout, seven by submission, and three by decision. So we're looking for submission victory by Julian Lane, or just wrestling it out until round two unanimous deci decision, which. Team Garber or Team Dillashaw has really taken advantage of it so far. He has a team of wrestlers, and they really engineered their game plan to fit with the round two unanimous decision, and that has given them the lead so far. I can't think of any. I think Tom Galicchio is the only one that has an actual finish inside the inside the cage, or in in their fights. Uh, of his seven losses, four by knockout. He hasn't been submitted in his career, and he's got three decision losses. He's got two and five in his last seven fights, but he's gone two and one in his last three fights. He's got seven guillotine submissions, so look out for a guillotine choke. Uh, I'm assuming Ramsey Ninja will certainly stay away from uh, taking taking Julian Lane down. He lost his last fight via head kick at uh, 
at 190 pounds. I think I've written down. That might be wrong. But he's been knocked out four times in his career. That certainly seems to be a weakness. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, he's been very active since uh, Ultimate Fighter. He's fought lots of times. At Subsex 16 wasn't that long ago, and he's had lots of fights since since then. I believe it's seven fights since then. So he's been very active, so he's not going in there cold. Uh, he's, he'll be fighting Ramsey Ninjim. Nijen. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. I apologize if, I, if I'm if i not. He was on the Ultimate Fighter Season 13, a very entertaining season with Brock Lesnar versus Junior Dos Santos. He won all three of his fights in the house. He won his preliminary, preliminary bout via round two rear naked choke. He won his quarterfinal bout via rear naked choke in 56 seconds. He won his semifinal bout via TKO in the second round. Finished every single one of his fights in the house, but he lost his finale via KO against Tony Ferguson. His side is five foot eleven, and he usually fights at 155 pounds. But he will have to jump up in weight to fight at 170 pounds. He's got a 74 inch reach, and he trains out of Team Pitt in Utah. I believe he's actually the leader of that camp over there, which is very impressive. He's got a record of nine wins and six losses in his career. Three wins were by knockout, two by submission, and four by decision. Of his six losses, however, three were by knockout, two was by submission, and one decision loss. He has gone a whopping 5-5 five and five in the UFC. So having, what is that, 15 fights, having 10 of them in the UFC, he's, uh, he's uh, by far has the most experience in, in, the, in the house, in the UFC anyway. He's gone 2-2 two and two in his last four fights, but has gone 2-4 and four in his last six fights, and 0-2 oh in his last two fights. He's got a background in Division I wrestling. He went 27-5 uh, and five in his se- high school senior year, which is kind of an impressive record. It's just showing that he has a wrestling background. Uh, he did not have an amateur career. Uh, instead of you know, most fighters, you know, they, they train, they go through the amateurs, and then they go to pros. He went straight from training right to the pros. I'm not even sure if he actually started training. He might have done it right out of college with just wrestling. I, I'm actually not sure. Uh, he's the head coach of his gym in Utah. Like I said before, he's let, he, lo- he lost his last fight via split decision in 2015. So he's... In July of 2015. So he's been out for a very long time. But he has 10 fights in the UFC. So he has lots of high level experience. So I'm sorry this is kind of long. I'll be gone for a while. So I apologize. I'll miss my first pay-per-view since doing this. So I, I, I'm really bummed out about that. Uh, I won't have a podcast for the upcoming UFC on Fox. I believe it's who is it? Glover Teixeira versus uh, Alexander Gustafson. But I'll certainly be watching it. Uh it's at 10 o'clock. You know, I'm really excited for that. I'm interest, interested to see how uh, uh, wh- how that's gonna what it's gonna be like. You know, uh, football obviously does very well, but that's kind of football is one of the biggest sports in the world, uh, especially in the United States. Uh, and they have all their games Sunday afternoon, so I'm really interested interested to see what it'd be like to ha- to have fights in the morning because sometimes when you have to wait all day long for the fights. Uh, for a person like me, that's it's it's a long wait for me because I love fighting. Just getting up and watching fights on Sunday, Saturday morning. Except uh, I wonder how it's gonna be. You know, they tried Wednesday night fights and that obviously didn't work out too well for them. Uh, I was actually in attendance for a Wednesday night fight uh, when they came to Sioux Falls, uh, my hometown. <laughs> anyway, I've been talking a lot, but yeah, I'll be gone for a while, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I got a new microphone. Hopefully, I'll be able to sync the audio up. But if it's if not, it's just going to be decorative. It looks cool. I like the way it looks. Uh, if you're in my area, get a car decal. I got one right there. Uh, or just a sticker. You can put them on your folders. You can put them on your laptops. You can put them on the back of your car. Uh, just some little advertisements. Uh, they're free. If, they're free. No charge. Uh, so if you want one, just... Just call me. You can comment on this video. I, I can get it sent sent out to you. I'll figure it out. So anyway, wrapping this up, kind of a long video. This is Tyler Beck from T1MMA, and I'll catch you guys later.